everybody and welcome to the first episode of Joey's Games. I thought I'd kick off this new series with a franchise that's very near and dear to my heart. Lake Placid and Anaconda. That's right. There were games. At this point in time, between the two franchises, there's a total of nine movies. Four Anaconda movies, four Lake Placid movies, and one crossover. Now I've covered all of these movies in Joey's reviews, and I was kind of getting impatient waiting for Lake Placid v Anaconda Dawn of the Crococonda, so I decided to see if there were any games, and to my surprise, there was. Let's start off with the Lake Placid games because they're easily the most underwhelming. Lake Placid Croc Drop is a game that you most likely will never play. Not because it's a pointless web browser game, but because the site it's on is no more. It's dead. If you try to enter this website, it'll just redirect you to the Flock's homepage. I've tried accessing this game through Archive.com's Wayback Machine feature that's designed to visit dead sites like this. But it didn't work. Luckily, I did find an article about the website that included images and GIFs of the game. You play as a mean and hungry crocodile, anxious to terrorize the town. The objective of the game is to eat old ladies that fall out of a helicopter. However, the helicopter can also throw rubber tires and 500 pound weights at you as well. Eating the elderly old women raises your health meter while everything else brings it down. The author of the Dead Sites article says that he's not sure if there's a possible way to win or lose. Or if it's one of those things that just go on forever. Lake Placid 2 Croc Alley is not necessarily a sequel to Croc Drop, but more or less a movie tie-in game to the Lake Placid 2 film, which is my least favorite of the Lake Placid movies. Again, you play as a mean and hungry crocodile trying to eat helpless women. You eat women to gain life just like in Croc Drop, but this time there's an air meter. If you stay under too long, you can drown. But if you stay above water too long, this dickweed will shoot you. On top of that, there's freaking exploding barrels everywhere that'll get in your way and kill you. Sometimes you can just die for no reason. One time I started this game up and I just instantly died. I just started off with no life. It's really frustrating. And, uh, come here. You know what your reward is for beating a level? This. Come fall in love with Lake Placid all over again. I got into this so I could meet sexy eco-warrior chicks who don't shave their legs. You get to see a clip of a Lake Placid 2 commercial. That's right, your reward for beating a level in a crappy game that's an advertisement for a crappy movie is seeing a clip of an advertisement for a crappy movie. Oh boy, I get to see 10 seconds of an advertisement. Oh man, that last five minutes I spent replaying the same level over and over again. Man, that totally feels worth it. Now I think there's three levels to this game and I'm not entirely sure. I just think there's three levels because that's when you actually put together the entire trailer for the movie and then it just kind of seems like it goes on forever after that and there's no real changes. Sometimes it'll just send you back to the main menu. I don't know. If you played more than three levels of this game, then you're, you're sad, just like me. Well, that's it for Lake Placid. I couldn't find any other games besides those ones. And some might not even consider those games because they're just crappy web browser games. But here at Joey Hollywood Films, we don't discriminate. Unless you're a woman. What are you doing out of the kitchen? From here we move from Lake Placid to Anaconda, and if you've watched my channel long enough, you know that I've always preferred the Anaconda series to the Lake Placid one. Let's see if that continues into the realm of video games. This is a tie-in to the sequel, Anaconda's The Hunt for the Blood Orchid. And according to the game's menu, that's the title of the game as well. Although everywhere else it's just called Anaconda 3D Adventure Game. You can play as all your favorite characters from the movie, like Jar Jar Binks, Annoying Woman, Annoying Man, Another Annoying Man, 
and man with the sexy voice. As far as I can tell, the game follows the movie somewhat accurately, with the exception of a couple added things to just pad out runtime. One of the things that just kind of stands out to me right off the bat is, why did they have an artistic version of just shot-for-shot shot scenes that happen in the movie? They could have just used stills, and I think the same point would have gotten across, and maybe actually a little bit better. I'm not knocking the artwork, I think it looks fine. But it just seems kind of pointless, especially since not very many people were going to play this game to begin with. It just seems kind of weird that they went the extra mile to have art done. You think some of that time, energy, and money could have been put towards the actual game design. The game starts up right after the waterfall sequence in the movie. At first it doesn't seem too bad. The controls seem a little overly sensitive, but that can be easily fixed. Their graphics, while not terrible, are not very pleasing to look at. Holy crap, there's crocodiles! I thought this was an anaconda game, not a Lake Placid game! I like how when the game stops to give you points, everything just kind of stops in the game, so it looks like everyone's just taking five. <laughs> what is that? Look at the way they run! They run so goofy, they look like they look like a little kid playing with a stuffed animal. Just... Look at the crocodile, it's not even touching the ground, it's just kind of like morphing up the hill. <laughs> You have a gun, but it's completely useless in this game. You can fire at these crocodiles forever, and it won't do that much damage. Surprisingly, a stick will just knock them right on their butt with one or two hits. Oh my gosh, there's crocodiles everywhere! Luckily, I brought my AK-47, whatever this gun is called. Take that, you crocodiles, you swine! Go back to Lake Placid! This gun seems to be ineffective! Oh no! I'm out of bullets! What else can I use to defend myself? A stick! It's better than nothing! <laughs> oh, well, that seemed to work! Like, who knew this stick would be so effective? And as for the snakes in the game, well, they look completely realistic and terrifying. It's funny, if you get separated from your peers, they'll always appear in the cutscenes, no matter where they are in the game. You, they could be on the other side of the map, but during the cutscenes, they'll just show up and be right next to you. This game is bugged up the butt. I, I've had, I had so much trouble trying to play this thing. Oh great, the game froze. Great, the game froze again! I can tell you, it's so frustrating to play this game that's just frustrating on its own. And then it just freezes and you lose all the gameplay you just did. It's horrendously annoying and I had to use someone else's computer to try to get this thing to even work properly. Unlike most games I've played, the camera seems to be a tangible object that can actually physically get caught on items in the game. Oh, that's just great. Seems like all my characters gotten separated. I don't know where any of them are. Luckily, I can switch between them. I have no idea where this person is. In the end, the game is just incredibly frustrating, and I'm not sure if that translated to the gameplay, but the game is almost broken. Like, if your characters get separated at all, you are completely screwed. You can't finish the game, and that means you've got to start all the way back from the beginning. And I actually went online to see if anyone else had finished the game. So, you know, maybe I could ask to use some of their footage to show the ending. And honestly, I think I got the farthest of anyone who has stuff online about this game. I don't think anyone's actually ever beaten it. There's another Anaconda's Hunt for the Blood Orchid game. It's a web browser game. It's basically just a platformer, and the goal is to just pick flowers. Not much else to say. Now, I wasn't sure if I should actually talk about this last game, because there's not really much to talk about. This is supposedly a tie-in game to my favorite Anaconda movie, Anaconda 3 Offspring. And I'm not really sure that this is actually a tie-in game. Like, everything says it is, but it really seems like it's a tie-in game to Snakes on a Plane. This game is called Snakes on a Babe, and there's multiple sites saying that this is, in fact, a tie-in game to Anaconda 3, not Snakes on a Plane. And I kind of believe that to a point. I think this was originally a tie-in web browser game 
for Snakes on a Plane to promote the DVD. And I feel that the Sci-Fi Channel or Sony was just so lazy with their promotional campaign that when it came down to make a web browser game, they're like, yeah, we'll just reuse this stuff from Snakes on a Plane. No one's gonna notice. No one's even gonna care. No one's gonna play the game. Except for Joey Hollywood. This game is super sleazy. Basically, all you do, it's just a matching game. You get the matching snakes, and as the screen clears, a naked woman slowly appears. And that's it. Nothing else. It's... Just as sleazy as it sounds. And once you finish the game, you get this video. Oh no, I've been bitten. Well, that's it for the Lake Placid and Anaconda franchises. I feel like I got nothing else to talk about except for maybe the writer's cut of the book. I'm still waiting for Lake Placid v Anaconda, Dawn of the Crocaconda. Heck, I'd settle for Lake Placid versus Anaconda in space. But it looks like that's not going to happen anytime soon. I've been bugging Sony, sending them messages and emails for, for months now. And I have yet to receive a reply. So here's a last ditch effort. I've created a change.org petition. This is a serious issue. We can't live in a world where there's only nine movies in the Lake Placid and Anaconda franchise. This has to continue. Consider this a public service. Go to the link in the description, sign this petition. We need more Lake Placid and Anaconda. I'm dead serious. Dead serious. Thank you for watching everybody. I'll see you next time. Stay groovy. everybody, thank you for watching the first episode of Joey's Games. I hope to do a lot more in the future, and I don't want to just limit it to any one kind of game. I want to do retro video games and newer video games, and heck, at some point I want to do VCR games, because I've always been oddly fascinated with those. Quick shout out to Groovy Will, who did that awesome animation of an anaconda eating me at the beginning. There'll be a link to his channel in the description. Another shout out to Troy Underwood, who loaned me his computer so I can capture the anaconda game footage. And of course, a big thank you to all my Patreon subscribers. If you'd like to see your name at the end of a video, or like to see certain videos early, you might want to consider going to my Patreon page and donating as little as a dollar. All the funds I get from Patreon go right back into my videos in the attempts to make them better. If you haven't seen them already, I strongly recommend checking out my movie reviews for the Anaconda series, the Lake Placid series, and Lake Placid vs. Anaconda. If you haven't seen them already, it might help put this video into perspective a little bit. Again, thank you for watching, I really appreciate it.